apparently we gotta go to Wait, how do we get in gotta go to this one All right okay so we got Gwen to help out because she wants um Okay, so basically, Gwen wants us to help her out Hello? with. Hi, so Gwen wants us yeah. to help her out with like something, something, and something. So yeah. Mhm. Mm so we're gonna go help her out with that something. Oh, we reached. Oh, the jellyfish. Okay, we need to get out. Uh, Gwen. Here we are. Damn. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with the bright jelly. They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glimpses anyway. I will wait, I will wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out here. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. Let's go. Time to pop. Oh. Oh, pop. 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 We got it. We got it. Okay, another bright jelly ahead. It's a bright jelly time. Oh, how is it so high? Oh, mate, 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 mate. Oh, I got it. Okay. What does it sound like this? This is KOE. Okay. We need to get these bright jellies. Okay, I'm ready. No! Get up! Get in the water! What the? That is so many jellies. Glims. 60 glims. There you go. Two bright jellies. So when do we move? Mm. Fantastic, okay. I'm really impressed. You rocked out there. Tumbling and diving like a shooting star. And without the slightest fear nor hesitation at that. You definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. And you even gather enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting. Slowly digesting myself. Wow. No, but... So we just did... We went into that thing just for a kitchen. That is amazing. Kitchen. Build. Put a kitchen right there. I want to build a garden or a field. Lovely kitchen. You can use... Can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. You could even try to loot th these loose corn ker kernels that have been hanging around my pockets. You don't got pockets, anyways. I can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You got this. Let's cook. 
cooking the kernels. Wow. We got corn. Let's cook fish. Well, you see, don't ask me now how, but I have met Albert already. He definitely is a shark. But interesting. Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. I think it's done. Why only one? I don't even know if it's cooked. Don't ask me how, but I've already met Albert already. He definitely is a shark, but his interest in all things mar maritime will be helpful, such as boat upgrades. He sells at an outrageously high price. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. They look like classical mythical challenges. Again, a little bit cliche, if you ask me. Bum, 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 bum. What? Do we, do we go back? Do we go to Albert? Where do we head? Albert's? Okay, let's head to Albert's. Stella! You know I'm delighted that you're with you're here with me. I'm not surprised one bit. It adds up. You're here taking care of me in my final hours. She's gonna die. You've always scared. You've always cared so uh, so much about others. Always protected those who you found vulnerable. Even pendetic snobs like me. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. Remember the day my father yelled at the cat? We just got out of the elementary school. We were wearing those blue sneakers with the glittery tags, and there you were yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Hmm. <laughs> Father turned red and smashed the purple Delano vase. It was rad. It's too, it's too dark to navigate. It will probably, it will possibly. Ooh, I want to do that again. Wait a minute, Gwen. Yes. Woo. Ah, uh, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your ever light being well light or some tech other te technicality. That being said, it, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. And you, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business or just chill on the deck under the stars. I'd suggest you go to sleep too in that cozy little room atop your cabin. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go. And this ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and talking about that, you know... You know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. You can ring that big bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of which, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Have a good night. Okay, bye-bye. I'll -bye. try cook again. Let me see. Where's it's done. Now what do we do? Ah, we get popcorn. Let's cook some herring too. Oh, this takes quite a long time. Okay. Let it cook. Time to go to sleep. The fish is done. It's bell time. Okay. Grilled fish. I can smell it. it I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Food. I can't even give you the food. Well, I won't die just yet. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I could. 
I thought it could be, but then again, you've always been the one in the kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. It will be up to you to understand who's fond of what. As for me, I'm sure you remember I've always loved comfort food and that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky. I can eat anything. Just never the same thing twice. And oh, before I forget, here's something I was supposed to give you. I'm not sure exactly sure how it works but an oboe is a simple passage it's a fee each spirit has to pay you but something tells me you're new that already okay let's keep improving on this craft as you may see in your blueprint there is a f both a field and a garden which means you can grow many different things and turn this into a doral farm of some sorts you should add a field first in my opinion it's going to be easier to find the resources for it around here and you can grow linen in it which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use it in. That, but that will come later. I need you to visit an island close by. It's called Mostine's Cove and there's something on it we need. I'll tell you when we get there. Thanks for the oboe. Ah. Hello there, young lady. I guess you must be the new spirit fair. Happy to make your acquaintance. I'm Francis. I, you can tell, you can say I'm sort of a wandering merchant. See, I'm very fond of things, objects, curious, to chuck us. I just buy everything. Simply put, I will buy anything you don't want anymore. I'm sure you've come a, come across a few valuable treasures already. So tell me, what is, what is it you want to be a part with? I want to buy something for you. What do you have? I don't have enough money. Empty bottle. I'm fine, thank you. I'm a immensely chipper to see a young lady in so I work. Not that Sharon, Sharon, what, care, care, whatever, wasn't a true professional, but his manners were well a bit cold, if you know what I mean. And he kept everything he found. What a pity. But you're here now. How's that if I dare say? Oh, I don't fret. If I ever need old version, I will live to bar. But don't let me be an impediment to your appetite for the future. Go on, sir. Say a little blue jacket. See ya, dude. Can we stop hugging the cat? I need to talk to her. Kevin, talk. I forgot where we need to go. What's our objective? Whoops. I really forgot what our objective was. Here, let me sell something to you. Sell old shoe and old carpet. What is this? Empty shell. Nah, no bargain. I'll sell you the empty bottles. I'll keep the maple log. See ya. After figuring out I had to go to Mo Mostine's Cove. I decided to really explore and do some fishing as well, just to get some food. That's really just it.
Okay. We have almost arrived at Mostine's cave. Cove. Mostine. There it is. You can see in the far. Look at that. We should hop on the island over there. Mostine's cove discovered. So it's another island. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Seeds for the future. Oh, are we trying to find seeds? Here we go. What a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine. I promise. It's the best way to get what you need, actually. But don't worry. They'll regrow after time. Another interesting fact about the Everlight. Oh, sauce. Look at the cat. He's jiggling. Timber! Well done. Let me get some berries. Congratulations. For you have become death, the destroyer of worlds. Jokes aside, that's how you do it. You go on ahead, cutting more trees. Then we can go back to the boat and build the field with those maple logs. I'll be next to the raft. We cut more trees down. There you go. Let's cut this one. After exploring the island and getting the maple logs for the field, I decided to head back to the boat uh, after some mining as well. Okay, now it is time to make the farm. I think, no, we can't make the garden, but we can make the field. That is big. Oh, we can, oh, we can place it on top of stuff. Oh, huh, that is cool. Mm hmm. I kind of like the slopes. They look cool. Let's see. I guess we have to put it on top. Okay, let's put it here. Boom. A field. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, cause we just built a field. And, yeah. Thank you for watching.